WrestleMania Backlash was on Mother's Day. And at, for, at to be honest with you, I had no desire to see the show. There was no heat behind it. It was a bunch of rematches and stuff like that. But usually, it was only six matches on the card. And with WWE, uh, most of the time, you know, it's like these little men shows, sometimes they will under-promise and over-perform opposed to over-promise and under-perform. And that's what the talent did. They, they had time. They went out there and had good matches. So I can't, you know, just say it sucked for the sake of something sucking. And that's not what it was. So I want to give us, go real quick, our review of Backlash. You know, uh, for WrestleMania Backlash of 2022. So I don't know if there was a pre-show or not. If there was. Or I don't was. think they do pre-show matches anymore. Oh, they don't do one of the premium live events anymore? Yep. Nope, no more pre-show. Good, you know, that's good. You get people on top of the car. Well, Backlash kick, kicks off. I'm going to stop calling Russell May back. I'm going to Backlash. Kicks off with Cody taking or Cody Rhodes taking on Seth Rollins, a rematch from the WrestleMania. And my opinion, this match was better than the WrestleMania one. This I match. like this match, too. I guess, I, I don't know. I guess for me to finish... Probably why I was like okay, but other than that, the match is good. Oh well, I mean we'll get to the finish. I said, but a uh, lot of great stuff here. Cody does the uh, Rikishi clothesline on the outside, getting turned inside out by Seth Rollins. Uh, he tries to go for the disaster kick, and Seth tosses him over the ropes. And this time, Seth, Seth is wearing the same exact attire that he had at WrestleMania, and all the moves that Cody was doing. Seth was telling a good story, like he's ready for them now because now I know I'm going against Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania. I wasn't ready for all these moves, but now I am ready for all these moves. So I thought that uh, throughout the match, he was he was throwing it in there. I thought that was a good uh, touch. And I like when he blocked that that stupid move Cody does, where he drops down and does the punch. Yeah, it, it, yeah. <laughs> the, it's like it's like the Rhodes brothers do do those kind of moves all the time. I know I don't understand the moves. I can't believe he did that in a brawl. Do you remember that? Yeah, you won't let me forget it. Okay, <laughs> you won't let, somebody every you time we ground. talk about something, Come he talk on, about man. the brawl at AEW where Cody does a little stupid fall. Uh, you in a brawl? You gonna drop down into the? Oh, come on, man. Uh, and anyway, if he did that with a suit on. Yeah. What a suit. He did that with one of them Cody suits on, man. And then, yo, Pryor was so pissed. And I was just like, he won't let me forget it. So, yeah, H.A. said, you remember that? I'm like, how can I forget? You won't yeah. let me forget it. <laughs> Every time Cody did something stupid, you're like, you, you remember that brawl? I'm like, yep. I remember that brawl, Pryor. <laughs> so, Cody tries to go for another disaster kick in the ring, but gets caught and turns to a buckle bomb. And then, uh, I like that. Yeah, that, that was dope. Uh, he, he, he go, Seth goes for, for the frog splash, and uh, Cody kicks out. Uh, meanwhile, Seth tries to go for the he does a, a nice regular Falcon arrow in the ring. Cody kicks out, goes for his superplex Falcon arrow, but when he comes down after the superplex, he gets up for the, the second one. Cody turns into a crossroads. I like that. I was surprised they had him actually kick out of it, though. He's, I mean, well, you know, the, the way he said, you got to do about three I, crossroads or kick I, out of him. You know, I thought he was going to do foot on the rope, not, like, kick out. Because he was close. He was by the rope. I thought they were just going to do I, I don't know rope. if he could have reached it or not. Uh, that, the, the, the finish came when uh, you told you that the, the one you, you had a problem with probably was, was, was the roll-up. Yeah. I just, you know, thought it should have been like a... I mean, I guess I get it now since you know what happened, but I think... You know. Well, because, you know what, I think they're trying to give Cody the uh, Batista booking from 2005, where Batista beat Triple H three times in a row. Damn. Triple H, this is Triple H you're talking about here. And the, the person was too much trying to get Batista over, and he did not Oh, win. wow. A Cody Rose trying to be like a Triple H segment. I see. Isn't Man, that funny? funny. <laughs> but, I'm, <laughs> but I'm saying, but the irony. I think that he pinned Seth Rollins at Mania. He's probably going to pin him in hell in the cell, so he's going to probably get get a roll up out of him now because I'm pretty sure the way after this night is looking, I'm pretty sure it's going to be Cody and Seth inside hell in the cell. I would th I, w I would think, you know. So, uh, y'all thoughts on the match? Yeah, I thought it was cool. Yeah, I heard. I actually missed it. Um. 
But like, you know what it was? It's, it was Mother's Day, and I totally forgot. Oh, I'm like, oh, snap, the paper. I'm like, oh, man, the paper. And, and again, I found a dog in my driveway. <laughs> so yeah. I'm pretty distracted. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, but I did hear they tore the house down. Oh, they did. First of all, oh, yeah, I heard once again match of the night is what I heard. Is it between this and the, this or the main event? Because pe- pe- people was hyped for it. even Ron and Shaw had a better match. Before we get to that one, we have Omos taking on Bobby Lashley. This match was better than the WrestleMania one, but that's not saying much. Because how do y'all feel about the Bobby's like new like entrance or whatever this is it's supposed to be doing? Okay. But I prefer the. I mean, he still has the, the lightning. He's still, you know, he's still the Almighty. But I, this is giving me okay. Rock with me here. It's giving me like Chris Masters. Remember? remember yeah, I was that? gonna say the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's giving me Chris Masters entrance, and it's just like you know, it's like this this Greek specimen god is coming mm-hmm. down. It's like the, the lightning is breaking him away from the stone, and he's coming to life. That's like the. That's the interest giving me. I prefer the, you know, him doom to do. You see, he kicking ass and shit, and then it's just like doom do do do. I I rather that one. He's he's coming out like the gold tunnel because because of the 3D effects. I don't know. I mean, it's not a bad interest. It's just I don't know. Does he have a different song or? No, he has the same one he's been had since. I guess since the, his run, since his newer, Kurt business and all that. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's for the same. So nah, nah. If he come out with, to the Dominator, he does the fireworks and they shoot into his face. Then that, I'm like, all right, this is Bobby Lashley right here. <laughs> it's old old school, yeah. <laughs> I remember that one. I do remember that one. Well, I mean, like I said the match was. Omos had his his probably his his best match. Even that's not, that's not saying a lot. Uh, Bobby does actually get impressive. Hit, hit him with the, like. Kind of the Ron Simmons spine buster. And he's trying to go for the spear, but the MVP hits him in the eye with the cane. I hated that. The spear or the cane? The cane. Yeah. Well, I, I personally hated it because I, I like I knew like probably in real life he didn't want to like probably hit him for real, but it just looked it looked too soft for that to be quote unquote the finish of Bobby Master. That's all. Yeah, and I was like, it's supposed to be. That's why the, they tell people to lay it in there because. Yeah, cause it's supposed to be in the eye and everything, and then oh my sister with with his move. And then I don't know what he calls it, but uh, why does everybody that's over seven foot have the double the double hand choke slam? Oh, it's always Yo, it's always a of, choke slam. I'm tired of them. Doing I'm tired of the double hand man. choke slam, man. Get a new move. Omos can. Omos is faster than most of the big dudes. He can do something else, like. But you know what? I I don't know if he'll know how to do it in, without hurting somebody. I guess this right here is the safest that's kind fair. of move. A deceptive kind of move that he could probably do it till he gets better. It's like you wouldn't want I wouldn't want Omos that size doing a dominator. Or I wouldn't want him doing a power bomb if he can't do the power bomb the right like it's like uh Kevin so Nash. Like uh, let Nash him do a strong huh? clothesline. Say what? Let him do like a strong clothesline or something. I mean we, we at seven foot I'm sorry, clothesline from hell from seven foot. I was like, I'd rather not. I, I mean me personally I he I would like him to do a big impactful move, but I would also want him to be, you know, safe as well. Do a power bomb. I, I was just about to do say power bomb. I said do the but, test. Know, do the test. Big boot. Like a power bomb from his height. <laughs> but, but, but 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 once again, a power bomb from his height, he's going to have to really like jackknife him. That's what Kevin Nash yeah. used to do. Yeah, yeah. Just let him fall. <laughs> yeah, I was saying, but uh, uh, look. I, I agree. Or, you know, it could, it could be a lot of things. It could be the pounce. Why not bring the pounce back? No, he's not fast enough to do the pounce. Oh, <laughs> but by the time you get back to you, gotta have, that, you gotta have that explosion off the road. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, Monty Brown. Yeah, I knew you was I knew you was Just like you bring up that Cody Brawl, you bring up Marcus Corvon. The or, pounce! Or, <laughs> well, yeah, Omos was here. Obviously, this is not going to be done because now Bobby got to win, Omos got to win. I I don't know if they're gonna do it at Hell in a Cell, but it's not gonna be inside Hell in a Cell. I'll tell you that right now. So I don't know. Oh no, it's a steel cage. Steel cage. Okay. Oh, speaking of that, <laughs> but uh, Bobby actually challenged Omos to a steel cage match, and MVP said, "All right, I'm gonna drop a diss track on you next week on Raw." 
I got to see the diss track. Oh, yeah. I got to so, see the diss track. I don't know. what They must be having a steel cage match just on a regular Raw. But okay. MVP doing a diss track, I don't, that's probably going to be funny. I don't know. We'll that's going to be hilarious. MVP can rap. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He can rap. Go yeah, he do his own thing. He do his thing, too. Go back to the Griselda record. This is going to be great. This is going to be great. Can't wait to see it. Up, we have it's oh, is it the I quit match? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm, hold on, hold on, hold because down. it's six. Yeah, no, it's a match in the middle. It's three, it says match. It was, so this is, I was about to say there was it was the, the smoke break, uh, Madcap Moss, wasn't it? No, no Madcap came is, after. So I'm missing a match. The six uh, matches. AJ, what am I? AJ, Edge. yeah, AJ. Sorry, AJ yes, there AJ. it is. AJ and Edge. Hey, okay, why you that? Damn, my bad. Okay, so AJ and Edge and Damian Priest is banned from ringside, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so actually, I thought this matchup was still good. I actually have a theory of what Hell in a Cell is going to be like, and if they do it, that would be so fucking dope. But I don't think they had the ball. They're not having people come down from the sky and hang AJ. No, that's no, no. I ain't told you you ain't hang that Christian man. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I, I'm talking yeah. about uh, f- first of all the match like I said the match is good uh, AJ's try- trying to go f- uh, first of all AJ is, is capitalizing on Edge he's pulling out the old AJ moves doing the springboard moves off to the outside on Edge trying to go for a four but Edge kicks him right in the arm that's the injured arm that he's been selling so then they've been working on the arm mostly the whole matchup but now uh, AJ is starting to get the advantage and uh, as he's on the top row Damian Priest comes down but he does not get go past like the ramp He's right there, and then uh, he tells the ref, like, he can't be here. So, but some other hooded fear comes down. And I get, hated this. Huh? I hated this. It comes out and grabs AJ on the top rope. And then uh, everybody was like, wait, who, who the hell is that? And a lot of people just went right there. Yeah. Nobody, nobody, nobody said, who is that? Nobody Stop said, who it. is that? Okay. Stop it. Stop that. We, we, we can <coughs> see the pants, the it. shoes. We yeah. called this... <laughs> We called this, for, yeah, they, that too, Prime. But like, we called this the minute Edge came out and said, "I'm starting yeah. a group." We sure. we all saw this coming. We this is what we wanted. You didn't have to raise suspense. You could have came out like normal. Okay, well, if you wanted to raise suspense, don't come out in your actual wrestling gear. Well, Clearly, yeah, that don't see. come out. That <laughs> too, don't come out in your ring gear. Like <laughs> nobody else dresses like a Guitar Hero three character. <laughs> 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 That's like saying, "Who is this guy that's that shaped like Bobby Lashley with Bobby Lashley tights on?" I don't know. <laughs> it can be anybody. Uh, He's shaped like Bobby, but I don't know who that is. He got a mask on. Like, come on. Uh, yeah, yeah, you, you're right. It's, it's kind of like the, the whole Ric Flair <laughs> of uh, being being the uh, Scorpion or the Black that's Scorpion. Like, uh, that's like uh, the you know Curry Man, right? Yes. That's like Curry. Man. <laughs> Yeah, Who is bro. this dude that walks like Christopher Daniels? Is that know, like, man. oh my god, yeah, or or the, or the super air? Yeah, oh, so many <laughs> get into. But anyway, uh, this, so Edge puts him in like the crossface and chokes AJ out, and then is revealed to Rhea Ripley. So Rhea Ripley has now joined Judgment Day. She uh, dyed her hair like all black, all too. black. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, Rhea's a good addition. He said he's not done recruiting, so. Uh, I, this is what I think is going to happen in Hell in a Cell. I don't think they're going to just do uh, AJ versus Edge at Hell in a Cell. I think they're going to try to... I think Now, I'm not saying this is going to be good, but I think they're going to try to get this to SummerSlam. To get the final big, you know, match of the year contender that we want. But I think Hell in a Cell, I think it's going to be AJ and Finn taking on... Uh, Dan Priest and Edge, or mm-hmm. it'll be, which I don't know, I don't think they got the balls to do it, but AJ Finn and Liv taking on Judgment Day in a Hell in a Cell match. First ever intergender six man tag in a Hell in a Cell. I don't think see, they would do see. that because if I'm Damian Priest, I'm hitting my finish on Liv Morgan immediately. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> I'm winning well, immediately. So, I don't know if that's fair or not. Mr. A and E, you coming up with a good idea? You know you can get fired for that. Yeah, yeah. Let's next find out. I mean, you 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 right though. I was just saying it's it's something different because why would you do 
Edge is old school, and Edge knows that Hell in the Cell are matches that end the feud. So when it comes to not, it might just be a regular tag match that you know, he wants. He yeah, just but, but, because it. right right now I don't see McIntyre and Roman doing Hell in the Cell. I, I don't see that they're, 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 they're doing it right now. I don't see title unification in Hell in the Cell. They're, they're, they're not New Day and Usos. And I only, the only Hell in the Cell match I see is is uh, Seth and Cody right now. We've it, had we've had pay per views where there was only one Cell match, and you know that. Yeah, it, yeah, that year was when. That was more than one year. I know, but how many? How many? It's always been for for the past six years. It's always been at least two cell matches on the card. What? What? what uh, the what only year was hell that in a cell Brock... match that had one. It was two years. That you think of two thousand twelve and two thousand thirteen. Those are and, and maybe two thousand fourteen were the only years that they had just one hell in a cell match. What's the one where Brock uh, or Brock was in it? And he, no, Brock wasn't in there. He came out and beat him up. Oh, that that was a terrible Roman versus Braun that had they, Ambrose and, and Rude and Ziggler and Rollins all doing the bumps for them. Yeah, did they not have it? I thought that was the only one that year. No, I'm pretty sure they had another one that year. I'm, oh, pre- I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure, sure. Th- that was 2018. Right? Or oh, is that the one with the Jeff Hardy spot? J- Jeff Hardy and, and Randy Orton? Could have been, could've yeah. Been, that's been. the one. I was like, yeah, that, that was obviously better. So, but neither here. Nor that's why I think may happen if they don't want to put the women in there, then they'll, they'll probably just do a two on two. But there's a reason. I'm like, maybe the tag team match. I was like, but I don't know. It'll be damn. I, you, you know what? I'm gonna I'm say it right now. They're gonna do a tag team match, and Finn Balor's gonna join Judgment Day over Chopper. I mean, Trump, yes. I mean, if Finn Balor is so deeply right, I mean, honestly, Finn Balor and uh, Damian Priest have a history. So maybe they use that as a tag team. Technically, quote-unquote, AJ is teaming with Finn Balor. So if he turns on him, that would be like a shocking turn, quote-unquote. Does Judgment Day bring out the team? They, they could. You know, they could bring out the... the, 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 the uh, <laughs> Ahmed, I guess that <laughs> would be Ahmed since he judgment judgment day. Oh, uh, Lord. <laughs> I mean, it, you know, it's a possibility. Who knows? But uh, yeah, so the, uh, it's just a win here. Moving on, we have an I quit match for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Charlotte Flair taking on Ronda Rousey. Finally, this matchup was better than their WrestleMania matchup. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I, st- they, I still feel like they didn't care, but I feel like they was like, "Oh, we're not gonna have a bad match." <laughs> I, I, you, know, you, you know what's funny? It looked like they cared to the fans said we want tables, and they was just like, "No, <laughs> no, we're not giving you no tables. We're gonna give you uh, Rumble in the Bronx meets Kendall Stick, but we're not gonna give you tables." <laughs> Rumble in the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I like that movie, man. <laughs> so do I. But you see how Ronda was posed at the top of the the stage with the, with the kendo sticks. I was just like, was she about to bring it out. I was like, I ain't never seen that. But yeah, so it, it's, it's 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 a slug fight, especially at the beginning. It's it's the old school. I quit. Like they got the microphone asking both the ladies, like, do they quit? You know, do you quit something like that? Uh, at first, I thought it was gonna be like one of them Bob Backlund, Bret Hart make the person make the submit, and they gotta quit that way. I was like, it's called submission match. <laughs> but I'd rather. What do you say? I'd rather them, them, them bring out the weapons. Charlotte goes and brings out the Kendall stick, but then so does Ronda, and they kind of like taunt each other going up the ramp, and then hey, real quick, yeah, who was it? Was was Roddy Piper a special referee in the I Quit match? No, you think Ken Shamrock. But I remember. I was, I was watching something with Roddy Piper. He was either in the match or he had the microphone because he kept asking. He was like, what do you say? And then it was like, they, they was like, I don't quit. What do you say? And he just kept saying it in their face. I don't know why that was just Was saying. that part of the territories or what? No, that was a, I don't know. I feel like it was like one of the matches where he was like in his in his later run in like oh. 06. I, mean, I, I oh, don't know. Oh, yeah, I got it. Mm, I don't know. Uh, So they're up there and then... uh. Ronda grabs uh, Charlotte's Kendall stick and then starts going in karate mode and starts beating the shit out of Charlotte with, with both Kendall sticks. Uh, Charlotte's on the top rope and then she try Ronda tries to go get, give her the arm bar and make her quit while while she's like pulling down on her arm 
and why Charlotte's in the tree of woe on the outside of the turnbuckle. That doesn't necessarily work. Uh, fans still want tables. It ain't happening. Shaw gives her a power bomb on the apron. These women are really taking it. And I meant to, meant to say this also in the beginning. Ronda took a on her head German suplex from Shaw. Did y'all see that? Uh, I did. Yeah, yeah. I did. <laughs> nah, I didn't. Yeah, at the begin at the beginning of the match, Charlotte gives her a German suplex, and Ronda falls right on her head. I'm just like, that's one tough son bitch right there. Cause that, I was just like, ooh, that could have went wrong so many ways. But uh, Charlotte pulls out the chair, and then but Ronda gets the arm bar, and it put it has Charlotte's <laughs> arm in the chair, and then Charlotte finally uh, quits, which makes the new sped up chair, which there is no doubt in nobody's mind. Then Ronda mm-hmm. wins the SmackDown Women's Championship. So, uh, by, by the way, yes, the, it was uh, Bret Hart versus Bob Backlund where, where Ronda Piper kept saying, what are you saying? So, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I did, I brought that up. It, 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 it was talking about submissions there. But, yeah, so that was that matchup. Next up was, was you know, obviously the bathroom break, which is Corbin and Mac and Moss, which, by the way, they didn't really have a bad matchup. It's just that it was Corbin and Mac and Moss. Just the names. If, yeah, I would have known that if it, I, I literally turned my phone off. Yeah, I would say it, it, it was, I, I went that they actually had a solid matchup with, you know, solid near falls, deep sixes and stuff like that. And, but it's Mad Cat Moss. I can't get past some suspenders. It's Mad Cat Moss. Can't, it's can't get past Corbin. It's all that shit. And it's like, God, if this was any two, a, a, any other two people have another match, this would be a fine matchup. But this was not good for them. So, main event time. Six-man tag team matchup with the Bloodline taking on RK Bro and Drew McIntyre. So, obviously, your boy J- Jimmy's in there taking the heat with McIntyre. And then McIntyre points out, like, I want Roman. G- give me Roman. Roman tags in, but it tags right back out to Jay. So, obviously, they're just going to take this. Riddle tags in. And then uh, they're going at it for a little bit. But then the crowd is clearly want Randy. So, then that's when Roman tags back in. So, it's uh, being up on Riddle. And then we start getting the whole type uh, breakdown type thing. And then when Randy gets tagged in, the crowd goes nuts. They go nuts for Randy. So, I'm just like, yeah, y'all, y'all, can, y'all can get like a, a one month feud out of this one for for Randy because you know people, are, mm-hmm. people, people, people loving Randy right now. So match breaks down. You know we get the simple uh, six man tag team action. Drew McIntyre is finally getting his hands on Roman. He looks over at the announcers table and he wants to put Roman to the announcers table. The Usos give him a double super kick and then Roman puts him through the announce table. Uh, one of the Usos flies out and attacks uh, Riddle. They go back in. <clears throat> They go back in, and then they are uh, still having a matchup. Uh, I don't know if Orton hit an RKO. I know I, I can't. I can't remember that spot, but I do know Reigns hits Riddle with a spear uh, back in the matchup, and, st- and they steal the win. The bloodline wins. Me personally, I was like, why not let you know the faces win? Just have one Jay J- J- Uso do take, take 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 the fall for that to help put McIntyre on a winning team. Cause yeah, yeah, I obviously try to build up to that. I don't know what's gonna happen, but y'all, try, y'all obviously building up to that. So, but overall, it, it was it was a good match, a good six man tag team matchup. So that was WrestleMania Backlash, and honestly, it gets a thumbs up from me. It, there was really no heat behind the matches because he just do, do, do them again for rematches. But the talent went out there; they had it, and I was cool with a six person, a six match card. For a no, you know, for a throwaway pay per view. So I get a thumbs up. You guys? I give it a thumbs up as well. Um, I, I am going to go back and try to catch uh, Rollins and, um, and Cody, though. But uh, aside from that, though, it was cool. Yeah. How yeah I give it a thumbs up, too. I, I give it a thumbs up, too. Okay. All right, guys. Well,. We need to uh, move on from there. Oh, might as well. Like, you guys are still on YouTube. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and all that great stuff. And, uh, you know, always stay tuned. We'll, we'll go back to being live for Hell in the Cell. But we had to just pass on Backlash. <laughs> <laughs>